Hi guys! Today I'm going to do a what's in my fridge video just to show you what I keep in there on a daily basis. There's just two of us that live here, so I know this might seem like a lot of food, but we don't eat out pretty much ever. We eat at home. Um, I pack our lunches if we go out. I even pack coolers if we have like a road trip. Um, we eat breakfast every day at home. I make dinner every night. We might go out once a week, and if we do, that's a lot. So don't get too overwhelmed, but I just want to take you through and show you what we usually keep at our house in our fridge. Okay, so I'll just start from the top and move down, but we have at the top, I know it's really unorganized, don't judge me, I'm sorry, it's a mess. One little random Greek yogurt. Chris is going on a rugby trip tomorrow, so we have a bunch of food, like little packaged foods ready for him to take with him. So if you're wondering why there's like weird little packaged things, that's why. This bowl, I have some hard boiled eggs. I always keep hard boiled eggs on hand to grab for a snack if I'm hungry. And we have a couple of leftover grass-fed beef burgers that Chris will probably take with him tomorrow. And these I just picked up. They are amazing if you guys haven't had them. They're the grilled chili and lime chicken strips from Trader Joe's. Chris will be taking these with him tomorrow on his trip. Told you lots of weird package things. Then we have our raw milk plain yogurt from the farm that we get our raw dairy from. Back here we just have a couple of pre-made coconut fluffs. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it for you. These are like great for breakfast or great for a grab and go snack. We have a giant spaghetti squash because I'm going to do a recipe on that coming up here pretty soon, so look out for that. We have some ground turkey, and usually Chris takes ground turkey for lunch to work, so I'll probably make like some type of no bean chili or burgers or something with this for him. And I have my fresh salsa that I put on a ton of things for lunches. I put it on um, omelets, chicken, whatever. Over here we have a giant thing of natural peanut butter. Um, Chris and the dogs eat this. We have a little random coconut milk here that's actually kind of full. A head of cauliflower. I always make cauliflower rice or mashed cauliflower, a bunch of other things with this. I always have a cauliflower. Garlic, um, some more Greek yogurt. This is just the full fat plain Greek yogurt from Trader Joe's. And we have a 2% one. Um, and then this is what I eat for lunch a lot. It's just like a fajita vegetables and grilled chicken. And I'll usually put like guacamole or Greek yogurt or something on that. Randomly, we have some pickles. You can use them when you're in a pickle. Some romaine, lettuce, hearts. I love romaine lettuce. I put it under a bunch of things. I also use it as like burger buns. Um, especially for like my tuna burgers. Even for regular burgers, it just makes a fantastic burger bun. A ton of baby spinach. Some beer down there, that's from rugby last week. And we have milk. Chris drinks milk, like regular milk, so he has vitamin D. He also has skim. He puts them in his shakes. He drinks like three shakes a day, so we have a lot of milk. Uh, we have the mother load of eggs. This is 90 eggs from Costco. We go through eggs super fast. Chris eats like 12 egg omelets, so he usually gets these eggs. I typically get like pasteurized organic eggs for myself because I don't go through them as quickly. Um, mine were getting to the date that they needed to be used, so I hard boiled the rest of mine, so those are those. We have some marinara sauce just because it makes a great topping for things like omelets. Notice we're big on the condiments. Shredded coconut, this is delicious in yogurt instead of granola. Over here to the madness. Seriously, this is insane. What a mess. In our butter drawer we have some more surprise. Butter, Kerrygold, some mayonnaise, soy-free viennese. I don't really care for the viennese. I like real mayonnaise better, but I don't like canola oil, and this does not use canola oil, so that's what I buy. We also have ground flax seeds. If you have ground flax seeds and you open them, please keep them in your fridge because they will go rancid on you. Oh my gosh, there's so much up here. Okay, what else? We have some soy sauce, sun butter, which is what I prefer. I like sunflower butter. We have some sun-dried tomatoes that I like to sprinkle in omelets. Gigantic green olives, which I love in everything. I love olives. I am over them. Anchovy paste, because you need it for Caesar dressing, duh. Oh, these are old. Oh, these are just like the shiitake noodles. I tried to get into them, but they kind of smell like old diapers. I much prefer a spaghetti squash to these things, so they've just been kind of hanging out in our fridge for a while. Down here we have some cocktail sauce, mustard, um, reduced sugar ketchup, clearly. Lots of Frank's Red Hot because we're huge fans of that. 
whole grain Dijon mustard from Trader Joe's, my fave. Got the balsamic dressing that I make. If you want to see a video for how I make my balsamic, I'll link that right here for you. It's super easy and you never have to buy salad dressing and you always know it's healthy and has no sugar and all that jazz. Horseradish, pomegranate vinegar, it makes a great salad dressing. Vanilla stevia drops, I use these in a million and a half recipes. Sriracha, more Frank's Red Hot because nobody knows how to use things before they open another one. Balsamic vinegar, got our raw milk from our dairy farm. Worcestershire sauce and another hot sauce, chili pepper sauce from Trader Joe's. So moving on to my favorite drawers here. In this drawer we have some lettuce greens. We got coleslaw mix. We got a hundred bajillion lemons. I use lemons every single day. I put half in water in the morning. Um, I also put half in my green tea during the day. So I use a lot of lemons. A grapefruit, because sometimes you just want a little fruit, and grapefruits are pretty low carb. Big old red onion, some bell peppers, there's a few of these in there. Zucchini to make zucchini fries, which I made last week, and you should go check that recipe out, because they are delicious. We also have some ginger root, because I put it in smoothies. And the last drawer is many people's favorite drawer, because it is our cheese drawer. We have some mother loaded of shrimp cheese. Chris takes these to work, he takes them on road trips. So those are Costco buy. Some feta cheese because I'm going to be making a recipe with this plus the spaghetti squash and I'm excited about it. Awesome, awesome cheese from Costco. It is a raw milk. I don't even know how to say that. It's French and it's raw milk and I like it. It kind of tastes like Parmesan. And I have a bunch of these little mini holy guacamoles because I like to put them on my lunches and the big guacamoles, when you open them and let them sit in your fridge, they turn brown and the little ones do not. So they are awesome and I always have a few. So that's all for the fridge. Let's move down to the freezer. Top left, we have a couple of these giant frozen um, ground turkeys. I also use these to make Christmas lunches. Here is like our frozen fish drawer. We have frozen cod, frozen maki maki, salmon, more frozen cod, frozen ahi tuna, delicious. And we have a grass fed ribeye steak, which is randomly with the fish. Down the bottom, we have a bunch of frozen vegetables. We have like a ton of frozen broccoli. We have a bunch of frozen green beans. And the other side is kind of like our fruit. I have like four bags of these frozen raspberries, a couple bags of these frozen wild blueberries. These are from Trader Joe's. These are just Kroger organic. Way down at the bottom, we have a whole frozen chicken <laughs> that I kind of forgot was down there and I should probably use pretty soon. Also down at the bottom, we have about four or five packs of our grass-fed ground beef from our farmer and it's so good and so delicious and if you can ever get your hands on some grass-fed beef from a farmer, I say do it. I hope that this was helpful and you kind of got an idea of what I keep in my fridge on a daily basis. Those are just my staples, the grab and go things that I can make meals out of or take with me out the door. So that's all for today guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye. I started off by blending some beets in my blender along with the juice that they were stored in.